Here, I've got a function called return what I pass in, and it takes an input of unknown and returns an input of unknown. So whatever I pass in here, it's going to return unknown. And I'm not really fulfilling the promise of this function's name. I can fulfill it by kind of using a function overload if I want to for each member of the thing that I want to do. So I can do export function and have this be a string. And suddenly I can pass in strings now, which is good, and that will return me a string. I can also add another overload here, which will be a number, for instance. So if I add in 12 here, then it will return me a number. Great. But the issue here is that like, I'm going to have to add an overload for everything I can possibly imagine using this function for, which is a little bit tricky. Like if you have a set number of things that you want to kind of pass in and return, then that might be useful. But the real way to do this is with a generic. So I can add just t in here, or let's say t input. And t input is going to be, I'm just going to replace all the pieces with this, and I'm just returning the input. And now, whatever I pass in, I'm going to get returned to me here. So I can pass in an object, I can say blah, 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 and that's all going to be returned to me like this. So this is a good way of thinking about the difference between function overloads and generics.